Do you guys want to go to the cafe? You want to go play and get dirty? You want to play? Yes! Cafe? Cafe? Mario wants to go to the cafe. This is the only time Mari talks, is when she goes cafe. Cafe? Shim shim? Into the cafe. They haven't been in a while. Go play. Go play. Nobody here. They get the whole playground to themselves. Go, go, please. Whoa. The poodle's gone crazy. Go get daddy, go. Everybody go. Oh, Mari made friend. <laughs> I made a friend. <laughs> Edward. Hi. Just grab her. Just grab her. Ellie wants to go in the stroller. <laughs> we put the stroller on the outside. All gonna need a bath when we get home. <laughs> it's like you guys have your own backyard. How nice. Hey, let's not go in there. Let's not go in that area. Jenny, come on. Mommy's going. The poor dog's by himself on the other side. <laughs> Get the ball. Get the ball. <laughs> Who's that? Who's this dog? The dirty lady. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> Finished at the cafe. We stopped by to get some drinks. Did you guys have fun? It was too hot. Too hot to play. This one was very, very naughty. <laughs> Where's daddy? Daddy, go to the store. Daddy, go to the store. Where's daddy? Where's your daddy? We go home. We'll be home in five minutes, okay? Thank God the cafe is close to home. <laughs> okay, so I got a package in the mail. I'm gonna order it. I think it's in my books. Let's see. Got this book and this book. So I recently got diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. So I was recommended these books to go through. So I'll probably be working on these. This is a workbook. So I'll show you guys when I do these. Today I'm gonna start working on this book, the Dialectical Behavior Therapy Skills Workbook. For the last like two, three years, I've been having a lot of problems dealing with my emotions and controlling 
emotions. I've been having a lot of like anger, mood swings, just a lot of behaviors and symptoms that I always thought was because of my PCOS. But as my symptoms were getting worse and worse, I realized that it wasn't probably PCOS. So I did some researching online and um, I found that all of my symptoms had matched up with um, borderline personality disorder. So a few weeks ago, I met with a therapist online and I got diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. And um, they recommended me to do some of these workbooks since getting psychotherapy and getting counseling in person is quite expensive. I looked it up and it's almost about 300000 like $300, over $200 per session. I'm not able to afford that right now, so I'm just trying to complete these workbooks by myself and save up some money. And then hopefully once I save up money, I'll be able to get some counseling and treatments from in-person sessions. But for now, um, I think the best thing for me is to kind of learn about um, borderline personality disorder and what I can kind of do to help me better control my emotions and help me to have a more kind of stable mindset. So today I'll just be doing this and kind of just trying to learn about it. One of the biggest treatments I've heard about for borderline personality disorder is DBT, Dialectical Behavior Therapy. So today I'm just going to kind of learn more about that. Okay, so let's check the four skills they suggest here. Number one, distress tolerance. Let's check that. Distress tolerance will help you cope better with painful events by building up your re resiliency and giving you new ways to soften the effects of upsetting circumstances. Mindfulness. Mindfulness will help you experience more fully the present moment while focusing less on painful experiences from the past or frightening possibilities in the future. Mindfulness will also give you tools to overcome habitual negative judgments about yourself and others. Emotional regulation skills will help you to recognize more clear clearly what you feel and then to observe each emotion without getting overwhelmed by it. The goal is to modulate your feelings without behaving in reactive, destructive ways. Interpersonal effectiveness. Gives you new tools to express your beliefs and needs, sets limits, and negotiate solutions to problems, all while protecting your relationship and treating others with respect. Okay, so hopefully I can get through these books by myself and I will let you know how it is. If you are also somebody that struggles with borderline personality disorder, definitely check out these two books. You can order them on Coupon, Amazon, but I'll be doing this for the rest of the day. Mama. 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 <laughs> So I'm going to do some meal prepping. I'm just going to make some like chicken and vegetable meal preps. Some rice. Okay, I think I have enough rice to make maybe one more meal prep. Okay, I just have some broccoli and carrots that I steamed. Let's fill it up.
then I just cooked some chicken, like ginger chicken and um, lettuce. Usually I also eat um, nutritional yeast. I'll put it on top of the broccoli and the carrots. Here is the kind of ginger chicken that I made. This is the chicken that I made for the meal prep. It has like ginger, lemongrass, lettuce, some pepper, onions, garlic, oyster sauce. Alrighty, I'm just gonna let this kind of cool down for about like 5-10 minutes and then I'm gonna put everything in the fridge. Here is all the meal prep and then I just have the extra in here. I'm just gonna let it sit for about 5 or 10 minutes and then I'll put everything in the fridge. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Now I can put everything away. I'll have some meals for the rest of the week. Now I'm going to make some anchovy and nuts banchan, some garlic, I have all of my meal preps done, the chicken, rice, broccoli, carrots, and then just I made like two banchans. So this should last a couple days. I still have a few more vegetables and stuff in the freezer to cook. But yeah, that is all I did today. Lots of work. <laughs>